Hello, it's Mrs Macy here again and I've got another video that might be useful. I showed um, you a few days ago how to use the snipping tool which is really um, useful if, you're, if you don't have a printer or you want to take a, like a screenshot of an online quiz or maybe of a document and paste it into Word or Publisher or PowerPoint and send that in your assignments. Well, I've just been told by somebody another really good little option to use if you want to, if you don't have, for example, a printer or you want to cut down on your ink or paper usage and it's called it's in j2e so i'm just going to show you how to use that it's really fantastic if you want to edit a pdf and you don't have the professional version to do so so i'm logged in as a child at the moment so i'm just going to go into office 365 and teams and open up an assignment that has something in pdf that we can uh, i can show you how to edit okay so go into teams like we normally would and I'm going to go into assignments because I know I've set an assignment that had a PDF document on it. Okay, go into my class like you would do normally. So if I quickly go into assignments and I know there's a BBC bite sized task and a lot of the things on there involve a PDF. So I'm just going to click this one here. Uh, let's go for scroll down maybe. Oh, planets, I forgot about that one. Okay. So there's the link, and and as I just showed you a few days ago, um, if you're doing the quiz, for example, there's one down here, I think, an activity. Uh, for example, you could use the snipping tool, which I remember I showed you before, how to take a snip of your quiz or your answers once you've done it, and then you can send that to a teacher. Um, if I scroll down, there's a twinkle sheet here, and if I click on it, it's a PDF, okay? So as you know, you can't type on a PDF, okay, which is a bit of a pain. Now you can use the snipping tool as I showed you before, or you could um, copy and paste a lot to Word, which sometimes can be, um, move things about and make it quite difficult. But there is another way of doing it, okay? So if I click on this print screen here, okay, which I'm not going to print it, um, it's opening up the printer from school, but obviously I'm not gonna print it off. I want you to select Microsoft Print to PDF, okay? So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna press print. Now it doesn't print it as such, it saves it, okay? So again, like I showed you before, make sure you save it somewhere where you know you're going to you're going to uh, put it. So I'm gonna put it in my daughter's folders. Uh, I put all three of their stuff together and I'm gonna give it a title. So this is Planets, okay? This is Macy. Planets, and I'm gonna press save. So I know exactly what it, where it is and what it's called. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning of Hope and I'm going to go into something called Just Too Easy, okay, which some of the children have used quite a bit, especially the younger ones. Now, there is a little thing on here which has just popped up recently called J2 PDF, okay. Now, this helps make um, uh, PDF files editable, okay. So, I'm going to click on that little app. And what happens here, it says choose a PDF file or drag it here. So, whichever way is easier. So, I'm just going to use File Explorer and I'm going to drag it over, okay. So I remember if I saved it in my, it was in my end drive and it was called in my daughter's folders. Um, and I think I called it planet. So again, rather than dragging to find it, I can just start typing the word in and there we are, planet and drag it there. Okay, I'll get rid of this dialog box. And as you can see, it's opened it up in J2 PDF. Okay, as I did there. And then you can, if you go to the little side there, you can use, um, uh, line or you can use the pencil line so if you have to um, draw a line between a picture and a text box you could do it that way now I want to type in there so if I go to text a and I click on here I can actually now start typing okay so use the words above to complete the sentences something is red and is the fourth planet from the sun so I'm going to type in Mars and you can see it's typed up on the document and it's typed it up nice and tidily so I can change the color just like you would do normally highlight you could change the color to a different color you can make it bold for example um so for example whatever you fancy doing really and as, as I told you can draw shapes and you can draw lines okay so imagine now I've finished doing my entire document okay now this at the moment will be saved in my j2e files okay so I'm going to go to save always give it a sensible title so planets okay and then you might want to put your a date after it or initial I'll just put the date so I remember um, or you could put um, your initial or well, doesn't have dots on there so I'm just going to put TM okay 
press save. Okay, now it's saved this now in my J2 folder, okay? So I can get rid of that. So I know where it is. It's in my folder in my files and you can see uh, there it is, Planets, okay? There's the PDF, the original PDF, and that's the one that I've done my work on. Now then, to put this work now into Teams, okay, uh, you need to do a couple of things. So if you go by the document that you've edited, the one that you've done, if you go by the little I there, share. Now this means that you can share it with a teacher. So I need to press publish. Now a lot of the children will be quite familiar with this because they do a lot of QR codes in school and it's a similar step, okay? So I've published it, okay? And down the bottom, you can see there's a link. And this is how I do my um, audio and my video clips often that are linked to J2E. So click on that and then you can copy lots of different ways. You can either right click copy or Mrs. Macy's a bit old school. I would control and see. OK, I've copied now. Make sure it's published, though. If you do it in private, when you do this, your teacher won't be able to open it. So make sure it's published first. Now I'm going to go back to my original assignment, which is here. If you remember now, imagine I finished all my work. Go to add work. Now, if you were adding a, fold, a file, a, a Word document, you would go to upload from this device. But because this is a link, I need to go to the link button up here, OK? Now, in here, this is where the link goes. So you can either right-click, paste, or Mrs. Macy Old School, Control and V. And there's my hyperlink. And if you wanted to put something up here, you could put planets, um, planets, um, CM, or whatever the date, OK? Attach. And you can see it's there, and then I hand it in. Um, I hope this has been useful. Mrs Macy, I've been using this a lot because I don't have a printer at home, and a lot of my children's homework have been PDF, and they've been using a lot of the snipping tools and pasting it into Publisher. But sometimes it can get quite fuzzy and you lose the quality of the work. But I've uh, shown this to my daughters, and they think this is fantastic, and I think this is quite a really a good way to use uh, PDFs and not, and not rely so much on a printer. So make sure you hand it in. I'm not going to hand it in for poor Ollie. I don't want to ruin his work. But um, hopefully you find this interesting. If there is a video and you, know, you want me to do another one on another aspect of, for example, um, Teams that you're getting a bit stuck on, please let me know. Uh, ask your child to tag me at Carol Macy on, um, on Teams. Or you can send me an email, OK? And I can do a video specifically for you on an aspect that you're finding a bit difficult. OK, dear Hoyle, ta-da!